Hi guys, welcome to the video for Aries Love, and this will be for um, tomorrow, which is the 20th of January, 2022. I hope all is well with you, Aries. Let's go ahead and see what's coming in. And this could be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sign, Aries. Mercury or Mars or the North Node. If you have Aries in your chart, you can check that out and possibly this would resonate. Okay, let's see here. Spirit, show us the messages for Aries love. Wow, the moon. Some, it's something still about hidden emotions. Wow. Earth energy is still coming up here. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. It's an adult. It's an adult. You know, it's not a page. It's somebody who's fully capable of, you know, um, expressing themselves. There's a judgment, which is a rebirth or a regeneration. Um, a resurrection of a situation. You caught someone's eye here, and possibly it was recently. Um, you may have got a lot of attention for something. Yeah, Ace of Swords, or Ace of Rods. What am I saying? <laughs> um, this was exciting or thrilling, or maybe you inspired this person. You could have inspired them. Uh, they could be older than you, even. Okay, so let's see what we have here for Aries in love or relationships. The world card, completions and achieving great success in your life. Maybe there's an expansion. The world can be expansion. You're ready to launch into another journey. Your energy is air, king. So you're smart, you're witty, you're an intellectual. This could also be the person coming towards you. But it's coming up as your energy. So you're being very smart. Um, you're an intellectual. So you're not really jumping in with emotions. Okay, so let's see. You could be guarding yourself a lot like really guarded okay show us around Aries eight of coin Virgo and this is somebody who's very picky they're very particular um, they could also be watching like you all the time they could be also doing research on you like trying to find out more about you You want to be the hermit, which is possibly alone or you're wanting to work on yourself. That could be the king of air. You're wanting to work on yourself. It could be Virgo as well. Show us the outcome for Aries love. Show us the outcome for Aries love. The fool. See, I just said a minute ago. You're getting ready for a new journey. The Fool, the world is the last card in the cycle so of the tarot. It's the number 21. Some decks, they call it number 22. But in this deck, it's number 21, which is based on Rider Waite Smith. So this is the alpha, the omega, the beginning, the end. This is a change of events with justice on the bottom. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra, but I don't think so. Ooh, the justice is behind new emotions and new feelings. Okay, so there's some powerful new feelings here. There may be some confusion surrounding a relationship because 
of this Wheel of Fortune behind the tower. So something changes quite suddenly. And um, so there could be an air sign around you as well. This person is focused on details, specifics. They could be watching you or doing research, like I said, looking you up online, Google. I knew, so I said Ace of Swords. Here's the Ace of Swords. They're looking for information. Information. And what is the judgment here? Okay. Um, fire sign, it could be you. Um, somebody could be thinking that you're a player as well. Underlying energy is judgment with the Knight of Wands. Thinking that you are um, here, there, and everywhere. Okay, so we get a six of coin. This person comes towards you with an offer. They are wanting to balance the scales out with you. Show us the world. Show us the world for Aries love. Oh wow, high priestess. It could be the end of a secret crush. Um, but it, it's also about spirituality, divine feminine, um, quiet, someone who guards the secrets or who has inner wisdom. So with the high priestess, you could have an intuition about who this person is. Now, what is the king of air? Why are you wielding the sword? You're picking up the sword. Okay, three of coin. It's like you're trying to make a smart choice about whether or not to work with this person or collaborate. What is... Okay, so we have the sun card. I was going to say, what is the fool? The fool brings out the sun. So if you take a leap of faith... The sun is about great happiness, growth and expansion, new beginnings. Okay. Okay. What is the six of coin? Okay, we have a ten of cups with the six of coin. What they offer you, you really like. You really like what they offer you. It could be a chance to work together. Um, and the sun and the fool is like, you're really happy about this. This is very, um, positive. There's a lot of positive energy in this situation. So show us the ace of swords. Okay. The person who is researching you or looking into information, they're coming from a painful past. So... Possibly they were burned. What is three of coin? Wow. They want to work with you because they like you and they feel like you would get along with them. Or you would, it would work. Bottom of the deck is an ace of water. Competition. With the hermit. The ending of a Seven of Cups. They're not confused. They want to come forward. I think it's just somebody who wants to connect with you. I think they don't care if you are exclusive to them. What is Six of Coin? Okay, so for that we're getting Hermit, a wise person. Somebody has a lot of wisdom. Knight of Coin is on the bottom. They want to come towards you with an offer. Ooh, Empress and Nine of Cups. They've held you on a pedestal of some kind. But your energy is still air, intellectual. 
unless this is an air sign. So I just got this King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo energy. What is this King of Pentacles doing? Ooh, the devil. Okay, so this is somebody who could be quite meticulous with control. Like they want control or power. Um, they could be very picky about who they work with or who they associate with, but ultimately it's kind of like somebody who wants to be in charge. Interesting. They might be very, very, um, I don't want to say like oppressive. Like you have, it's my way or the highway. What is the sun? Why, it is a happy event, okay? So you get to leave another situation or you choose, you feel like you want to leave another situation. What is High Priestess? Show us High Priestess. Okay. You, it, you may not tell anyone about this offer, Ace of Coin. Ah, oh, Emperor on the bottom, Aries. This could be a job as well. I might just do this as Aries daily. You're willing to take this leap of faith. Okay. Show us the Eight of Cups. Oh, wow. Okay, it's an Empress. So there's more money or more abundance here for you. Show us the Ace of Coin. Five of Swords. Somebody could have kind of a cocky attitude. Um, but I think you don't mind because you like them. Okay. It's coming forward as a Queen of Water. They could have water in their chart. And a Ten of Coin. They want to offer you an investment of time, money, or energy. Okay, could be a promotion for many of you. Ooh, four of wands. I think you might be kind of overwhelmed by this. Okay, Aries, this is your daily for Thursday the 20th. Thank you very much for tuning in. Maybe I'll put, pull one of these oracles to see what we get you for Aries here. Okay, someone has a broken heart. So there, I think that's the, the other person. And the sun is coming out. A lot of happiness here. Joy, positivity, optimism, and growth. Okay, so the sun is coming out. Joy. And the cornucopia, a lot of money, abundance, wealth, prosperity. Somebody is offering you the world, literally. <gasps> Door to value is underlying. And so then you walk away from some other situation here. Okay. I'm going to leave this here, Aries. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please check out my website, starseed1111.com. Thank you and take care.